to sell virtual event tickets on Etsy. Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can sell your own products in this platform. And for those who don't know what this platform is about, so basically, Etsy.com is a platform where you can sell your own products or you can buy the other seller's product. As you can see in here, we have a lot of products and most of them are handmade products. As you can watch in here so for example we're going to go through this earring shop page to show you an example so in this video I'm going to teach you how you can create your own shop page like this one as you can see in here I'm going to show you how you can price it how you can select the colors and all of these things how you can write your description like this one and how you can add your pictures or videos if you have them so here let's just go back to the front page click on sign in if you want to create your new account click on register if you already have an account just click on sign in and here we have the front page again go to your top left oh sorry top right and click on the shop manager button in here but let's wait for it to load then click on the shop manager button and i'm going to click in here to start from the beginning so here you will have six steps to go through and whenever you finish one of them you click on save and continue and if you're if the options or the details that you filled is right you will be continued to the next step if not they will say there is a problem and they will tell you to fix it so let's start with the shop preferences where we choose the language the country and the currency and as you can see they are chosen automatically so here I'm just going to change the currency to the United States dollar which is the most known currency and it's easy to calculate your profits using the currency that everyone uses then click on save and continue and then you choose a name for your shop so for me I'm just going to choose the niche's name as my shop name so here the name is available let's click on save and continue and then we proceed to choosing the pictures of our product video listing details so here guys as I said in the beginning if you lift one of these important details not filled like the ones that have this symbol they are important to fill when you let them or when when you lift them empty and you click on save and continue they say fill out all of the required fields correctly in order to preview or save so as you can see here you need at least to upload one picture of your product or one photo and if you want my my opinion the more pictures you have the more you will sell so just follow these tips use natural light and no flash include a common object for scale and so on when you are taking the pictures of your product and then we have the video which is not important just if you have one you can upload it if not you can just skip this and if you want to learn how to make videos that sell just click on this link then we have the listing details you put the title of your product and then you answer these three questions then you choose the category of your product so here I'm just going to type the name of my niche and choose one of these categories and then you fill these other information based on your product the primary color secondary color and so on and then you choose if you want manual or renewal or automatic renewal the one you want 
and then you choose whether your product is a, is a physical product or a digital product then you move on to description here you talk about your product start with a brief overview that describes your items finest features and so on just follow these tips or these this information to write up a good description and then we move on to the section tags and materials that are optional as you can see in here if you have them if not just skip them then you move on to the inventory and pricing so as you can read in here price must be between 0 0.20 and 50 hundred dollars so keep that in mind and here you have the domestic and the global pricing if you want to keep it off if, and if you want to turn it on then you have the quantity the quantity so type as much pieces as you have then you have the SKU number which which is optional also and then we have variations if your product have variations you can add them in here if not you can just skip it then you have the personalization if you want to collect personalized information for this listing click on click it off or on as you want then you have the shipping settings the country of origin where you have the product the origin postal code processing time standard shipping everywhere else and so on and then last but not least you have the returns and exchanges policy so here if you want to get started with a simple policy you can just click on apply simple policy and if you want to create your new policy click on create policy and here you accept these ones or you turn them off if you want returns or not and if you want exchanges or not and here you choose the time frame buyer must contact me and ship item back within 30 days of delivery 7 days of delivery so the minimum you can choose is 7 days of delivery and the maximum is 90 days of delivery and when you are done with that you click on save and apply and with that being said you click on save and continue again and then you will proceed to the next step so that's it guys for today's video don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more information like this and share the video with your friends to let them learn about Etsy and how they can sell their products that would be helpful for them so I wish you all the best with selling your products guys and see you in the next video